Hey everybody, it's your boy Blackie Chen. Um, so last time we talked about where do I start? If I've never trained martial arts, what do I need to do to get started? Um, so we talked about you know power and strength. We talked about flexibility. We also talked um, a little bit about um, muscle endurance. Um, so today I wanted to finish out the physical with a little bit of cardio. Um, it's not a lot there. I mean, most people know how to get your heart rate, right? You, know, you gotta run, you gotta bike. Um, you know, swimming, that's a good one. Um, I personally use the heavy bag as a tool for building my cardio, just because, you know, when I go, I'm there for a minimum of 30 minutes on the bag. And that's, you know, with minimal breaks. I try to take 30 second breaks max. Um, so that way, if you're, if you're you know, condensing all the work that you're doing into a short amount of time, you're, you just have to work harder uh, by, uh, by design. Um, so that's one of the ways that I try and get my heart rate up is just spending a lot of time at the bag or whatever exercise I'm working, making sure that I'm condensing that um, rest time in between, uh, make sure that my heart rate stays high. Um, now moving over to some of the mental um, uh, pieces, I, I, in the previous video, I mentioned, you know, having an open mind, taking your ego out of it and allowing yourself to learn without any hindrances. Um, also, uh, we talked about having a one more mentality, um, but um, like outside of like the, you know, believe in yourself, believe, achieve, conceive, <laughs> uh, some of the like, like, uh, practical things you can do as you approach these tutorials um, is break down um, the movement into smaller pieces. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. So let's dive on in. All right, so in order to kind of illustrate how I break down tutorials, we're going to be looking at Quan Trigger's How to Master the Back Kick. Um, so I'm not going to go through the entire tutorial. Uh, I'm just going to show a little snippet to point out uh, how I like to break these things down using this as an example. I highly recommend you go check out the whole full video. I'll put the link in the description um, because he, his tutorials are, um, if you're analytical, if you think analytical and you like the details, like the nitty gritty details, I love his tutorials because he goes step by step and then why, um, which really helps kind of like uh, solidify it for me. Um, but yeah, so we're talking about back kick, right? So when he goes to throw this back kick, and I'll wait until he comes up on the next one right here. So before he even starts, you know, the motion, what I'm looking for is kind of what leads up to it, right? I want to make sure that I'm watching the stance and he starts boom. So he adjusted this right leg to allow him to pivot and plate and plant his left foot. Let me go back ever so slightly. So right before he goes boom. So that right foot turns out so that it allows more room without ruining his knee to bring this left foot around, right? And as he brings that left foot around, let's look at what's happening with the toes, right? Toes are pointing away from the target, heels facing the target, and he's on the ball of his foot. He's not flat and planted, right? His hips are, you know, kind of at a diagonal here, but that's because he's looking that way and it's getting ready to turn around. So as he turns around, boom, then the, the left foot is planted because that's now our, that's our new plant foot, right? We have all of the, most of the weight on that foot. And after the pivot, when CS is back facing the bag, then the leg comes in, right? And then boom, he strikes. And when he strikes, boom, you can see where his toes are, they're almost off the back, right? He's striking with his heel. You don't want, and he, he goes into much more detail about why that is, why you don't want to be hitting with your toes. So that allows, let me go back to it, boom. So to go through the whole flow, boom, he pivots out that right foot to allow him to be able to rotate brings the left foot across facing, toes facing forward, heel facing back, still has a bend in his knee, both knees, right? And 
and then as he comes around once he has his back turned then the light comes up as the light comes up then he thrusts bone striking with the heel um so that's kind of how th this is um i mean that's not something i'd recommend starting with um as far as the spinning back it goes it's never thrown a punch in your life like you probably shouldn't be trying this i'm just using this as an example to kind of illustrate how i think through these tutorials and how i try to um, glean information that's being the information that's being presented um so again little bite-sized pieces so if you take little bite-sized pieces looking at the first step that he takes opening up his hips bringing the um left foot around this is from an orthodox stance so um just flip it if you're southpaw. Um, so bringing that leg around, bone planting, staying on the top on the balls of his feet, toes facing away from the target, heel facing the target, rotate. Once the back is turned, foot comes up, then bone strike with the heel. So that's pretty much um, like how I like to think through these things. Now. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to be doing some tutorial breakdowns where I actually go in depth about the technique and I'll show you how I practice it and kind of go back and forth. Um, but I just kind of wanted to give it an idea of how I like to think through these tutorials and how I get information. Um, but yeah, if you learned something, got anything of value, make sure you like and subscribe. And be sure to check out Colin Baker's channel because he's got some good stuff and there's a lot to be learned. Good luck in your martial arts journey. Thank you.